Hey everyone, Matt Pisarsik from RazorEmporium.com. Today, to do a showdown of epic proportions, we're gonna be shooting out the new Parker Semi-Slant Razor versus the tried and true Mercur 37 uh, Slant Razor. Let's see who wins the battle. Let's get started. Okay, we are all lathered up with a very exciting new soap on the market. I'm probably a little bit biased. The Razor Emporium Small Batch Barbershop Scent Soap. And this is a um, line of soap products I'm very excited to have here at the Emporium that we are making here in-house. That's right. Make it right downstairs in our, in our workshop. Um, you know, a couple... Uh, years ago, I got the itch, and I bought some equipment, and it just kind of sat, and finally, I have some talent. Um, it comes in and helps me make the soap occasionally, and we got all the ingredients, and all of the fragrances, and oils, and everything to make it, and labels, and it's quite a production. I know that there's a lot of artisan soaps on the market, and um, now having finally um, produce some soap, I see how much goes into it. So very excited. As you saw, the lathering process, um, it lathers up very easily. It's very slick, creamy soap. Um, it sprang right into life. And you notice, just, you know, if, you, if you're new to my channel, this will be helpful. If you're an old friend of the channel, you'll, you've probably heard this a million times, but make sure you really agitate and really scrub that lather. Some people go bloop, 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 like they're painting a picture. No, 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 you gotta scrub it, really get into a thick, creamy lather. It should look like whipped cream. So the, the consistency you're looking for, you get this little cush going on, these little um, tips kind of pull apart like that. That's the whipped cream kind of consistency you want from your, your lather. So if, if it's dry and flaky, you need to add some water. If it's running down your face, you've added too much water, you need more product. So that fine balance will get you a great lather. That being said, our, we will load up together, I'm, I haven't got loaded up yet, um, the new Parker Semi-Slant Razor. Now, this is the Mercur uh, Slant Razor, I believe the 37, uh, that's been around forever. In fact, this design goes back to the 50s. Um, it's a very old design, classic. Everyone measures all other, all, all other slant razors against the Mercur. So, um, <clears throat> but I'm excited to try the, the Parker. Um, we got an email, like a lot of other vendors, I'm sure, got an email who carry Parker products from Howie, the owner. And Howie said, Matt, got a new razor coming out. I think it's gonna do really well. And so we ordered a couple. And um, let me grab got another blade over here. We keep blades on the counter. They usually only get one or two shaves a piece. So this one had one shave on it, this blade. So I'm going to put a, another Paul Silver blade that, in here that just has one shave on it. Sometimes that first shave, compared to the second shave, you can feel a difference. Anywho, they're equivalent in my eyes now. They both have one shave on them. Um, Looking at them eye to eye, you know, the slant angle doesn't look too different. Um, you know, we'll see what the semi-slant kind of pans out to, to feel like, to be like, but from just my cursory look, it's not like a crazy slant. It's not a really mild. It's somewhere in the middle, I guess. So for my reference, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do my first couple of strokes with the Mercur. Oh, yeah. Now, this is like an old pair of shoes you put your feet into. I used a slant razor for probably the first two or three years of my wet shaving life. So this is actually brings back very fond memories. Absolutely effortless. It is velvet, people. Um, if you didn't already know, the slant razor, it cockeyes the blade a little bit on an angle, and that kind of performs a slicing action. Uh, I always use the analogy that it's like uh, you're trying to get a sticker off a piece of glass. You take that blade and you kind of 
chop at it vertically up and down. It, it's okay, it's effective. Then you take that blade and you go like this and you slice it and it comes right off, same thing. This is slicing through your whisker. And so it feels a lot more efficient. Parker, for comparison. Oh, wow. Now it's a little more auditory. I'm hearing it more. Let's do a little stubble check. Dare I say, the Parker feels a little bit closer. You can even see it. This one, it's grabbing more of my skin, so the cheek is kind of going up easier. Whereas this one, it's just kind of still riding against some stubble. So I definitely think the Parker is actually a hair more aggressive than the Mercur. It feel, both feel great. Um, I'm actually, the, the, the gleeful look on my face is because I forgot how nice a slant razor is. I've, I've gone so long without using one that I have general excitement. Genuine, genuine excitement. I don't want to stop, I don't want to put it down, I love them. Let's go back to the, uh, the Parker. Definitely more auditory. Especially up around my sideburn, I could really hear that. And some people may, may really like that. I don't think it's necessarily changing the shade, but it's nice. I can't stress how little pressure is needed. If you are even a new person, sorry, um, an old person, a double edge, but new to a slant, back off your pressure half, half as much pressure. Which double edge should already be very, very light touch to begin with. So this is like a feather light touch. The other nice thing about the, um, the Parker, I mean, look at the difference in handles here. Look at this. I mean, it's significantly different how, how long this handle is. So if you are new to wet shaving, and you're coming from a cartridge razor, this is gonna feel a lot more familiar, a lot more comfortable for you. And we get that question all the time. As you're seeing, I, I mean, I'm holding it kind of around center point, you know, where, where the balance point is, center of gravity kind of thing, around just a little bit below the neck. I kind of do this. I put my pinky at the bottom to kind of balance the handle. But I'm not gripping it like this. If you're new to my channel, you, you haven't heard me yet say it, you don't grip these things like a paintbrush. You grip them like a pencil. Very light touch. Wow. Slant razors always remind me of straight razors. I don't know why. It's something about the feel of the blade on that slicing action. The other nice thing about slant razors is they are great for people with thick, coarse, heavy beards, sensitive skin. And that is very much myself. One reason I use a slant for so many years at the, at the front end of my wet shaving experience. Now I will say the Mercur seems to glide a little bit better and it could be the polished chrome finish versus this kind of satin finish. It's not major. It's a shade of gray difference. Head clears out beautifully. I'm not getting major clogging. Another 
big benefit coming from cartridge razors. We just shot a video the other day with uh, a new Gillette razor. I forgot how annoying it was to have the, um, the head constantly get clogged, even, even with the, the bigger spacing of the blades on the, on the Pro Glide we did. Um, it was definitely better than the sensors or Mach 3s or even the Fusion. Good, good, good riddance on that. <laughs> Jamming constantly. I guess if you shave every morning and you have shorter stubble, maybe it wouldn't jam as much. I usually shave every other day, so my stubble definitely gets longer. Sometimes every two days. Depends on the schedule of video shoots, because I, I've, I've said it before, I do most of my shaving here with you guys. I'd say out of, the, out of the week, half of my shaves are in front of the camera. Half are at home. So there's times that pop up where I can't shave over the weekend because I know on Monday morning we have to do a video, so I have to let my stubble grow out. Just kind of going back and doing little, little touch-ups. Be amazed at, at the dexterity of your fingers, just running it across your beard just ever so lightly. You can really feel if there's an area that you missed or just need a little bit of a second pass over it. But that was a very enjoyable shave. Um, the barber shop did great. Not surprised. I, I'm a big fan of that. Um, our formula, it's a vegan formula, so if you're worried about that, um, it lathers beautifully. The scent, I've heard of nothing but praise about the scent, the barbershop scent, the citrus we have are the two big sellers. Sandalwood and lavender do great as well. I did have a little bit of my Parasso pre-shave. I always do this, so it's kind of a staple for me. I'm always going to put pre-shave on. My beard just loves it. Um, Another major factor, I've said this a million times, shooting in here, guys, it is not the most ideal situation. I didn't just pop out of a hot, moist, warm shower. I'm not in a nice, humid bathroom where my skin is just completely moisturized. I start off cold. I start off coming up from my, my workshop or my office. I come over here, and I do a video, and my face is completely dry. So adding you know, water from the sink is great, but having that pre-shave really helps me get by with not getting any nicks or any major irritation or, and also adding slickness to whatever soap I'm using. And we're gonna finish off with my favorite, Parasso White for sensitive skin. Um, one of my all time favorite aftershave products, that balm. I recommend it to anyone who has a skin sensitivity or doesn't want to use an alcohol based product. It's got a green tea and oatmeal. I just love it. It feels so good on my skin, especially on a hot day. We're in Phoenix and it's a warm one. Or in the winter time, your skin is feeling dry. You don't even wait till you shave. I use this all the time in the winter just as a face lotion. It doesn't have any you know, alcohol, it's very little fragrance to it. Uh, another great benefit if you wanna throw on your favorite cologne or, you know, afterwards, it's not gonna compete with the scent. So that's all I have to it. In terms of our, sh our shootout, these guys were neck and neck. Um, very impressed with the Parker. It performed nearly identical, if not maybe a little bit superior to the Mercure in terms of its closeness of its shave. Um, the, the Mercur may have glided at times a little bit better, but it's shades of gray. Um, the Parker has a longer handle. Uh, they do have the Mercur in different handle lengths, so you can get the, the jumbo long handle, so there is an option. So that, that maybe would have been more of a neck and neck comparison, but I, I was really evaluating the head, not the handle length. Um, both did great. So I'm very impressed with the Parker. I hope you guys have an opportun opportunity to check it out. Um, if you have used the Parker, if you've used a slant, if you hate slant razors, if you love slant razors, let me know in the comments below. And if you do leave a comment, you're entered into win this, the official Razor Emporium black and blue t-shirt. Um, thank you so much for checking out our video. If you've used our barber shop or another scent, let me know. How do you like it? And that's all I got for you guys today. We'll see you next time at Razor Emporium for all things vintage shaving. Thanks, guys.